Hey guys, welcome back. Luca here. I know one of the things that's like in a lot of people's mind is, is it right now too late to get into tech? With all these newer technologies, like should I even consider becoming a programmer? And in this video, I just want to talk a little bit about what I think and my perspective. So technology typically runs in this sort of life cycle where they start and then they, you know, ascend and then they become mature and then the decline phase. For a lot of the technology sectors, we have been in this mature phase for a very, very long time, which is why we have this phase of slow growth. And of course, during the past few months, we have been seeing a lot of layoffs and a lot of the talks. But one thing that is certain is the fact that applied AI is here to stay. And that is such a game changer if you have watched many of my other videos. And why I think right now is actually an ascending period for a lot of these technologies. And many new fields, new jobs will be created that require you to know technology. And that's why I think right now is actually the best time to get into this field before it's too late. Of course, the runway might be 5, 10 years, even more, depending on how this technology revolve involves. And if you're someone who's extremely interested in machine learning or artificial intelligence, right now is even a better time to get started on this. Of course, if you're just starting it, it might take you a long time and by the time you finish, the sector might be dramatically more different from right now. So definitely also timing is very, very important. So if you're someone who's on track for a lot of these fields, I say that's perfect, like everything should be aligning. Let's say I'm someone who has no prior experiences and I'm thinking about technology. Maybe I'm in school, I'm thinking about pivoting into computer science or software engineering related degrees or I'm just someone who is already in a field and thinking about pivoting into tech, what would I do right now? I would say the number one thing to avoid is if you are someone who's thinking about pivoting, right now is definitely not the best time to do a bootcamp because bootcamp prepare you for a lot of these gen programming concepts and the goal is to get you into a role right afterwards. And of course, they also hold your hand and show you how to build something together. And that's also very different from trying something from scratch without any assistance and really deep diving it. For example, if I want to become a full stack software engineer, let, let me build something that can help me find a Chipotle near me. And by having ChatGPT, you can give the prompt and tell it, hey, I wanna use Java, I wanna use Python, I wanna use React, can you guide me on how to build these? So if you're someone who's interested, I would say definitely try out ChatGPT with some of these new projects that you might have in mind, just to play around with it and see like, hey, like, am I interested in tech? Or do I just want to be in tech because I think this is like where the future. So I would say I was still studying computer science, but I will have another emphasis on some other majors that I can potentially use my computer science knowledge. Because soon into the future, a pure computer science developers, I don't think it will be very, very relevant anymore. With the introduction of Copilot, with the introduction of this GBT, coding will become more streamlined and it will be a lot easier for people to write a lot of code. So the dynamic becomes is no longer about, hey, can you write this feature? But more so about, can you make this feature cater towards our usage? Can you make this feature cater towards our company? Because not all company is going to hop onto the co-pilot or have the ability to build something for themselves. So they might also wait for a B2B to be available and maybe incorporate into their own code base. But if you are aiming for some of these bigger tech companies, they have the bandwidth they are going to research some of these internal tools for their developers. Something that will be the mastermind that knows the whole code base, that knows all the commit history, like why something was created a certain way. And depending on your team project, you can quickly generate things. And now your role becomes more so of making sure things falls into the correct place. So I would say yes, a lot of these very, very obsolete code, for example, a lot of times when you have these one bus factors, like a lot of times companies may not let go certain employees because they're the point of contact. Like they are the ones who build it. It might be because the technology is really, really old. Not a lot of people are aware of that anymore. So they need that person to maintain it. But with the introduction of these, like those roles will become very, very risky. So definitely don't be someone who just knows one thing really well because you're never gonna know better than a machine. So with that in mind, now my role become a lot easier. I can focus on what I'm passionate about, what I'm interested in. And technology will be my tool to make that happen. So for me, I would actually go back and maybe pick up something else that interests me a lot. 
could be biology, could be electrical engineering, something that actualized make me know some more broader sense of knowledge. I think these will be the key contributors. So I think it is definitely possible with these technologies. Now you might belong to more than just one teams. Your role will be a lot more different. You might focus more on optimization. You might focus more on better engineer. You might be focusing on more writing design docs, project requirement docs, and try to really leverage these things. And I can slowly see how the software engineering role will be completely pivoted. So definitely try not just be committed into one language, one platform, one stack. I say like definitely branch out. So right now I would say it's more important than ever to actually know the fundamentals and know the architecturals or at least know how to use ChatGPT to get the information that you need. So I would say those will be way more relevant. So if you are someone who's thinking about going into tech, I actually think right now is the best opportunity. Like definitely, don't hesitate. Yeah, in conclusion, avoid bootcamp right now and if you wanna learn something, try something, definitely use ChatGPT or any of the free courses that's available. Try to learn as many different languages as possible and you may no longer be getting away with just writing things you will need to know why something works or at least find a way to know why something works. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time.